Welcome to a new hour CBS Sports HQ. I'm Amanda Guerra with you. A bowl season is officially here. We will be giving you picks for all 42 bowl games. Now, not all of them today. We're going to space it out a little bit. But before we get to the ones we are picking today, one of the best games in college football going down this Saturday, it's Army-Navy. In life, we all strive to find something worth fighting for. Does this for a chosen few, that purpose is found in country, a pride in pursuit of something far greater than self, sacrifice, discipline, the erosion of wants and material needs. We celebrate those brave enough as the stars of the only show in town, Army versus Navy, deserving of its own day. For these men, 365 days worth of preparation for this 60 minutes of football. This is not a game, this is a purpose. At West Point, the phrase beat Navy isn't just a rally cry, it's a greeting by which you address your superiors. In Annapolis, beat Army, printed on every weight and every pad, etched into the stones beneath your feet, a constant reminder of the task at hand. Make no mistake about it, there is a respect between these two rooted in reason, but today's mission is to dismantle the other, a time-honored tradition in sports that's provided indelible moments. In 26, a battle of unbeatens separated by nothing. In 45, Army's national title. In 63, the emotions just days removed from a national tragedy. Then in 83, they went west. And from 02 to 15, 14 years of unbroken Navy dominance. We heard for a long time about the streak. It feels good to be a part of the team. They put that to an end. Soon, the next chapter, in a rivalry that highlights the best of us. This game, a time capsule of the sport's truest form. Today, bitter rivals with the sole mission of bettering the other. Tomorrow, teammates on a battlefield far more important. From this field, to every corner of the earth. It's Army versus Navy. Next. And we are so very excited about it. Let's welcome in two of the best, Brady Quinn and Marie Hunt here to go through these picks. But we are going to start with the Army-Navy game going down this Saturday there at MetLife Stadium. Army coming to this 8-3, and three, Navy's 3-8. and eight. Army a 7.5-point favorite in this game. The total is 34. Of course, it is always a low-scoring <laughs> game there. Uh, Emery, we'll start with you. What's your best play in this? I love what Army has done this year. The fact that they started to expand a little bit their passing game, makes them a little bit more explosive. And Navy's defense hasn't been right for the last two seasons. And when Navy was good, their defense was great. They were great in the secondary. That hasn't been the case so far this season, the last two seasons. So I'm laying those points with Army, and I'm trusting that they'll go over it as well because of what I just talked about, about their offense. And I was there in, in 17, I believe, when Army broke the streak in Baltimore. It was a fantastic event, fantastic game, and one that everyone should attend at some point in time in their life. We were just talking about that, Emory. Unfortunately, this year I was invited, but I cannot make it. However, it is on my bucket list of games to make it to. But I got to teach you a history lesson. The last 15 matchups between these two teams, they've hit the under. And I know 34 seems really low, but I'm or going with – three to with, three and a half at this point. I'm, go, I'm, go, I'm still going with the under <laughs> this one. I'm still going with the under. It looks like it, there could be rain throughout the course of this game, which might make some things sloppy. And you talked about the passing game. Well, it might be an improvement upon what, you know, Army's been in the past, but these teams are still ranked 130th, 129th in regards to attempts. So it's going to be all about the ground attack. Army with the flex bone attack, really it, it almost mimics the triple option, but you're going to see actually more design runs, more window dressing with some of the fakes. And you're going to see both quarterbacks play in this run. Uh, it's going to be Christian Anderson and, and Tyre Tyler who are running that flex bone offense. But keep an eye on the most explosive Tyrell Robinson. He's the back that averages about 10 yards per carry for Army. He's their big play playmaker who's going to be at that wing position from time to time. On the flip side with Navy, though, they've really just struggled this year. Uh, Ken Niamatololo has not really been able to get back into this series the way Jeff Mockett has dominated it since Emory talked about uh, when Army first kind of ended that streak. Uh, they've won four of the last five. So you lay the points here with Army, but the other bet you got to go with is the under. It will be a low-scoring game. Look, if you're not freezing cold by the end of that game, I don't think you've done it right because you got to be out there early for the walkouts and everything. All right, another special part of this game, of course, the uniforms here. Um, I think I – so I like the Army uniforms more. I'm a slightly biased, 
I know Jack, our producer, who's in the booth right now, he likes the Navy uniforms. Brady, what do you think about them? Um, I think I like Army better. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. I mean, I, one thing, it looks pretty cool. I mean, this looks more patriotic. The Army one looks like they might blend in a little bit more, I guess. It's a little more kind of camo. Or, I don't know. I, I like them both. They're, they're both unique in their own way. I forgot Jack likes Army as well. Chris Hassel's the one who likes Navy. Thinks we're absolutely ridiculous. Emery, you got a preference between the two? Which one do you think looks better? Well, Army came out first, and I was loud on social media, like, oh, man, this is the best. But then Navy dropped theirs a couple of hours later. I was like, hold the phones. Navy got it the right <laughs> way. I love Navy's uniform. No, no. Yeah, they almost look like Captain, Captain America. Captain America. I yeah. was literally just thinking that. Um, all right, well, you guys make sure to tune in this Saturday, Army, Navy. Yes, it's a Top Gun thing, but I also there think it looks like Captain America. It's very cool either way. Uh, it's going to be a great game. Make sure to check it out. Saturday, 3 Eastern, MetLife Stadium on CBS. Coming up next, okay, I promised you bowl game picks. We're going to talk about him. Alabama, Cincinnati, Georgia, Michigan. We'll see what Brady and Emery have to say about those games, and we are just beginning. Stay with us. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game, the highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics? Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.